OceanGate was an American company specializing in crude submersibles for deep sea tourism and research. The company gained global attention after a tragic incident in June 2023, when its submersible, the Titan, suffered a catastrophic implosion on its way to the Titanic shipwreck, resulting in the instant deaths of all five people on board. Key individuals, Stockton Rush, the founder and CEO of OceanGate and the pilot of the Titan submersible, he perished in the implosion. Hamish Harding, a British businessman and explorer known for his adventurous travels. Shahzada Dawood, a Pakistani-British businessman. Suleiman Dawood, Shahzada Dawood's 19-year-old son. Paul-Henri Narjolet, a veteran French naval officer and a world-renowned expert on the Titanic. Chronology and cause of the disaster. The expedition and disappearance. The Titan began its descent to the Titanic wreck on June 18, 2023, approximately one hour and 45 minutes into the dive. Contact with its surface support ship was lost. The search operation, a massive international search and rescue operation was launched, attracting widespread media attention. There was a glimmer of hope that the crew could be found alive, but the limited oxygen supply on board made the outlook grim. Discovery of debris. After four days, a remotely operated vehicle, ROV, discovered a debris field approximately 500 meters from the bow of the Titanic. It was confirmed that the pieces belonged to the Titan, indicating a catastrophic implosion had occurred. Cause of implosion. The investigation concluded that the primary cause of the disaster was a structural failure of the submersible's hull, which was made of carbon fiber. Many industry experts had previously warned against the use of this material for a vessel designed to withstand the immense pressure of deep-sea dives, controversies, and safety failures. The tragedy brought to light a number of serious controversies surrounding Ocean Gate's operations. Lack of certification. The company deliberately bypassed standard industry certifications and classification from independent bodies, claiming these processes stifled innovation. Warnings from experts. Several engineers, employees, and even regulatory bodies had repeatedly warned Stockton Rush about the safety concerns of the submersibles designed for years. Their concerns were reportedly ignored, and one former employee was even fired after raising safety issues. Waivers passengers signed. Extensive legal waivers that mentioned the risk of death. Three times on the first page alone. However, the legal validity of such waivers in the face of gross negligence by the company remains a point of contention.